She was set up by an incompetent company. And Wait, now what? her life was ruined. Wait, this is way crazier than I thought. Wait, what? White woman becomes Japanese immediately ruins her life. When Shino Carolina accepted her crown as Miss Japan, she didn't realize she had made a huge mistake. It was her dream. But as the spotlight turned on her and her most embarrassing secrets were exposed to the <laughs> Did they really do this to her? <laughs> entire world, she had to accept the truth. She was set up by an incompetent company and Wait, now what? her life was ruined. Wait, this is way crazier than I thought. Wait, what? Miss Japan gives This is the real story of the most hated woman in Japan. I actually have not heard this. I actually This is not what I thought it was going to be. This might not be what comes to mind when you think of a Japanese person, but trust me, Shino Carolina is as Japanese as they come. I'm talking rice and miso soup for breakfast levels of Japanese. She's been in Japan since she was five, so she's lived her entire life there, from elementary school to university. Okay. Japanese is the only language she knows, and if you don't believe she's fluent, listen to her gush over who's the hottest One Piece character. <laughs> so true. <laughs> but as you could imagine, Carolina never really felt like she fit in in Japan. In elementary school, she was bullied for her big nose and blonde hair. Oh yeah, man. America so racist. Only racist country, right? Am I right, guys? Only one. Her whole life, not fitting in, always bothered her. Japan was her home. She wanted to be accepted as Japanese. So what if she became Miss Japan? That's like, dude. So That's actually like a really sad story, I think. Like, but first, she had to meet the requirements to enter the contest. So, what are they, anyways? To be Miss Japan, you need to be between 17 and 26 years old. Okay. Carolina's 26. Check. Okay. Unmarried. Check. Mm -hmm. And have Japanese nationality, which Carolina didn't have because she was born in Ukraine. So she quickly filed the paperwork and became Japanese just before the contest deadline. So wait, does like, did like her family move to Japan? For... That's, that's interesting. But there's something weird going on here. Wait, what, what is this? Isn't the contest supposed to be called Miss Universe Japan? Uh... Yeah, this is not the contest you guys think it is. Basically, in 1950, the Japanese government wanted to thank America for relief after the war. Wait, so they hosted a Miss Japan contest to choose an ambassador. They only did this twice. Then, 16 years later, this guy, Wada, has an idea. He wants to market his company, Wada Labs, so he revives the pageant and uses it to promote his new diet, Wada figuring where you only eat nine foods and take a 45-minute bath Wait, once a week. He has no competition, so it works, and he becomes the guy for dieting in Japan. Even Emperor Hirohito's wife, the Empress of Japan, went to him for advice losing weight. But Wada is a bit of a weirdo. In the 80s, he invents this device called a shower- Wait, 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 the, sh the shower, uh-oh. Would you stick up your ass to clean your colon? And that's it. That's literally all the WADA company's ever done. I mean, look at their website. It has three sections. The WADA figuring diet, the showerer, and the Miss Japan contest. They still run the pageant to this day. It has nothing to do with Miss Universe Japan. Even the BBC got this wrong. It's a big difference. The WADA pageant is nowhere near as prestigious. Yeah, I mean, what they do the like heck? Trash cleanups. When's the last time you saw Miss Universe doing a trash cleanup? The winner... What's wrong with that? What's wrong with trash cleanup? Of Miss Universe Japan qualifies for the international pageant where they can. So it's not the same thing. Eat against the A Miss lot of people from got this wrong then. To become Miss Universe. <laughs> but the winner of the WADA contest? Well, that's it. There are no playoffs. The winner doesn't have to compete anymore, so the judges can kind of select whoever they want. Speaking of judges, this is where the corruption starts. There oh, are 25 no. of them. The first seven are two members of the Wada family and their employees. Then the next seven have five public figures, one of which is this guy who refuses to get out of his chair. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> big alpha move, I respect yeah, that, it. Dude, and then they is... have two past winners of the pageant judging. Seven from Team Wada and seven from the public. Feels a bit Wada heavy, but whatever. So who are the other 11 judges? 
Well, they're all representatives or CEOs of these random companies. Or at least I thought they were random companies uh -oh. until I checked the sponsors list of the pageant. Then everything became crystal. Oh my god. They let the sponsors put judges on it? Clear. Yeah, the Wada family makes their money by selling judge spots at the pageant. What? Of the 25 judges, 18 of them have a conflict of interest. These sponsors want as many people to check out the pageant as possible, and that goes double for the Wadas. So crowding Oh my god, are you telling me that they... Dude, did they... Did they bus her for publicity? Is that what happened? only white contestant as Miss Japan is a genius business move. It's basically guaranteed to create controversy and make headlines. Oh my God. They, they, oh, that's so fucked up. It's all over Japan. By the way, Miss Universe Japan does not sell judge seats to sponsors. They only have seven judges who are all ex-winners or accomplished women from society. Maybe you don't buy it though. Miss USA, which is Miss Universe USA, by the way, What is happening here? What is, what is, what is it? America armor? What is this with the moon? Dude, does, dude this kind of looks like a five-star gacha character, doesn't it? <laughs> with the moon in the background too, with everything? Dude, this, look, this looks so gacha. I'm not gonna lie. It's like the America, America, like the America character in like a gacha game. Yeah, for real, man, for real. Oh, wait. I just remembered. I have to sing your song. Bart, I have to sing. I have to sing your song, Wizard. 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 I have to sing your song. Uh, I'll do it after. <laughs> I'll do it after. But can you remind me, Julio? Just in case. I'm kind of baka. Was won by an Asian woman in 2022. So why does Carolina's win need to be a Wada conspiracy? Yeah. Is it really your skin color that makes you Japanese? Take Steve Aoki, for example. He's Japanese, but he's never lived there and doesn't speak the language. Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. We are in Fuku Yuoka. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> Fuku Yuoka. It's well, not a bad thing, by the way. I'm Dutch ethnically, but I don't identify with that part of myself at all. But think about it statistically. Legendary. When 7% of the U.S. is Asian and Arbany Gabriel wins Miss USA, it's not the craziest thing in the world. But when Europeans make up this little of your population, so little that I can't even see a blue pixel here. Dude, who cares? Honestly, honestly, I, 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 I honestly think that like if, sh so I don't know about the corruption, but like let's assume that this was actually a pageant and she's been living in in Japan since she was five years old. She didn't have a choice in that. She lived there since she was five years old. She only speaks Japanese. She should be able to win. I think so. We can say that Carolina's win was a bit of a statistical outlier. Out of who the 2,500 women and? who entered the contest, is it really likely that Carolina won because she best represented Japanese values? Why, why not? What if she lived there? Values? Or is it more likely that the Wadas chose her in a short-sighted marketing decision? The it's, it's, it's possible. It is possible that they 100% use her. Based on like the information that like it was a lot of sponsors, and their whole point is that they want to have more people looking at the pageant so that they can see like their product, right? Like their, their, their company name in there. Then it makes, it does make a lot of sense that they would do this for that reason. But again, I don't know if that's actually true. The worst thing is it worked. Carolina Shino, who won this year's Miss Japan. But soon, the Wadas realized they made a huge mistake. But first, a message from our sponsor. Media bias is everywhere in today's world, and you can even see it in Carolina's story. The way I like to combat it is to use today's sponsor, Ground News, a platform that aggregates news headlines Ground from news sources thing. around the world and shows you every perspective. It's so hard, dude. I, I, I'm like the type of person, I just like don't trust anything anymore. Perspective. It's like, For Carolina's like, story, from, like, there's more news than 60 outlets. sources to look at, and you can see exactly how left and right sources covered the story differently. Not only that, the publications that reported the story are rated on their factuality by oh. three separate organizations. They also show you which countries covered the story, which is good for me because I prefer to work with primary sources. One thing I thought was funny was the Telegraph directly translated this guy's name to Muscle Doctor, but I went with a different nickname, Dr. Chad. 
We'll get to him in a minute. Ground News is a Canadian company founded by a NASA engineer that's working to revolutionize news consumption. Mm -hmm. If you want to be more informed when you consume news, go to ground.news slash Japanalysis. Right now, you can sign up for less than $1 a month or get 40% off the well, Vantage check plan it out. using Seems my link. That's the one I'm using. Links in the description. Thank you, Ground News, for sponsoring today's video. After Carolina's win became the hottest topic in the nation, tabloid magazines started prying into her private life. They put their best PIs on the case and prepared for a <laughs> long investigation. Dude, dude, of into course. Nah, just kidding. They immediately oh, found that she was okay. Okay. having an affair. Wait, an affair? Isn't Carolina single, though? If that was real, by the way, that would have been actually pretty racist if they actually did that. Well, yes, but Carolina was caught on a date with celebrity plastic surgeon Maeda Takuma, and he's married. You might think... Uh-oh. So what? That's his problem. But in Japan, it's not. Over there, if you sleep with a married person, you're at fault. Should be both their What can't it be both? Why can't it be both their faults? Yeah, it should, it should be both their faults. What is this? And I don't just mean by the media. If you cause a divorce by doing that and you knew that they were married, you could be sued for up to $20,000. Luckily, Carolina had a good defense. Dr. Chad pursued her first and lied that he was already divorced. I was going to make a comment there, but I need to think about it. <laughs> or at least that's what the statement that her and the Wadas put out said. So, turns out she didn't do anything wrong. And from there on, she lived happily ever after. Wait, wait, said, wait, wait. lied that he was already divorced. Carolina had a good defense. Okay. Dr. Chad pursued her first and lied that he was already divorced. Or at least that's what the statement that her and the Wadas put out said. Okay, was that, was that real? So, turns out, she didn't do anything wrong. And from there on, she lived happily ever after. Oh, man, don't bait me again. Yeah, man. nobody believed that. Ugh. And within a few days, Carolina was forced to make another statement where she told the truth this time. Yeah, she lied. She knew he was married and she kept seeing him anyways. And the affair had been going on for like three years. Why do people... Wait, was this before? Oh, no, so this is before... So if it's been going on for three years, this is before she won the pageant because she won the pageant just recently. This is recent news, right, guys? Like that, that she won the pageant. So, okay. You can imagine. Oh, well, I was gonna say like, why would you ruin everything over that? The storm this caused. First, Carolina was immediately dropped from her agency, and then Miss Japan stripped her of her crown. Souls. For the first time, the Miss Japan title was vacant. Oh my God! Soul Sword Strike, thank you so much. Thank you for the prime. Thank you. No Miss Japan 2024. Carolina, whose goal in Thank the you. contest was to finally be recognized as Japanese, not only failed at that, the entire country now hated her. And Japan isn't exactly the easiest country for a tall white woman to lay low. Her punishment was pretty harsh, especially considering she isn't even the one who cheated. But it's par for the course in Japan, to the point where people who think their partner might... Nah, nah, I don't think so. I, I, I think, I think she's still, like, if she knew about it, then, like, I think, I think she's still, like, a part of that whole thing. ...be cheating are financially incentivized to hire a private investigator to gather evidence so they can sue. I know this because some of my friends have done it and gotten paid out. Another reason people hire investigators is because in Japan, you need your partner's permission to get a divorce. Otherwise, you have to go to court. PIs give you evidence of adultery, which can help mm -hmm. you get divorced. You want to know the craziest part? Famous white women in Japan get canceled for this all the time. Dude, it's probably, dude, dude, it's probably, it's, it's probably, it's probably the same reason that like, it, it's like different, right? Because she's like, she looks different. So it's like, kind of like, it's exotic. You know what I mean? It's like the same reason that like there are like there's like a whole thing with like people liking um it happens in like in every country, right? Where you have like people of like a of a different race that are like at that country. It's like it's it's like it's rare. You know, that's probably you why. Me? Meet Becky, half British and half Japanese. Becky used to be on every TV program in the country. I'm serious. You couldn't turn on the TV without seeing her. But in 2016, Becky disappeared. What happened? Well, it was the exact same as Carolina. 
Tabloid magazines got a hold of chat logs showing a secret relationship between Becky and a massive Japanese rock star, Kawatani Enon, the lead singer of Gesu no Kiwame Otome, a really famous band. Becky and Enom were getting pretty serious, and even though he had a wife, Becky says she was in oh, love with man. him. He even took her to meet his parents. Was this his parents were just like... Of course. Dude, Becky that's that's bold. That is so bold. Like, I'm married, but like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go... You know what though? Like, okay. He I'm just gonna let this go first. And when I'll, the chat I'll... logs leaked, she had to lie and say they were just friends. But just like Carolina, that didn't work, and the truth eventually came out. In the end, she had to hold on. You know, though, there is, okay, there's one cultural thing here that I probably need to talk about because I don't think you'd really understand it that much. Um, and, and again, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't like, I, I never lived there. So like, I, I only know this from like, just what I've observed from uh, people that I know. But there are cases, there are cases where like, there's a couple that gets married, but like, they don't actually like each other like after a while. And the thing is, is divorce is not really, like, it's not, like, as common as it is in, like, America. So, it, so you know, if you're, if you're coming from a Western perspective, like, oh, just get divorced if, like, you don't like each other or whatever, right? But they don't do that in Japan. What they do is they just kind of live separately, but they're still married, right? So, like, if he took, if he took her to, like, his if he took her to his parents, is that what happened? Like, I don't know, right? Like, if you saw, if you actually just took the information and you put that down, like, in a news article of, like, yeah, well, like, he was, he was already married, and, like, that's what happens. Like, they were married already, and then, and then, um, you know, he took her to his, see, that part, that's the part that makes me wonder, is he took her to his parents. So, like, was he already, like, basically separated from, like, his wife when this happened? Yeah, yeah, this happens all the time. Uh, in America, yeah, divorce is thrown around, like, like whenever. In Japan, they just kind of stay together, but, like, you know, they're not, like, they're not, like, sleeping, you know, they're not, like, sleeping in the same room. They, like, have their own rooms, or, like, they have sometimes not even in the same house. And they don't even hang out at, at all, but they're, like, married. Right. So it's it's actually like kind of um. It could it could be that he actually was in love with this girl, like like he was married with with the other girl, but they didn't like each other anymore. And then he actually found a girl that he was in love with, and then that's why he took her to his parents. That's my thought, but you know that that makes for less of a spicy article. And again, it's not something that is culturally understood in like other countries. Another press conference where she admitted to everything and apologized to his family, but it was too late. Becky was done. Anon, on the other hand, got off scot-free. And then, not even one year later, the exact same thing happened with another celebrity named Maggie. Half Canadian and half Japanese, Maggie also had a secret relationship with a rock star. And yes, he was married. Naturally, when their secret got out, Maggie faced repercussions as well, although nowhere near the level that Becky did. She now runs a YouTube channel called, uh, uh Maggie's Beauty and the Speed? Oh, Very I get Japanese it. it's like sounding. Beauty and the Beast. Very Japanese uh -huh. sounding. But clearly something's out of whack in Japan when the women who were single are getting punished more severely than the men who cheated on their wives. They're not completely innocent, especially- I mean, is this- So here's the thing, though. It- it- does the same thing happen if it's the other way around, right? I don't know if this is necessary, like a, necessarily like a it's her fault because it, it, it's only her fault because she's a woman. I don't know if it's necessarily like a sex thing here. Like it could be, I don't know, but like we don't know if it actually occurs the other way around too, right? The same exact same situation. Since in all of the cases they knew the man was married, but this Japanese phenomenon of the men getting off scot free while the women have their lives ruined is a bit strange. In Carolina's case, people hated her before they even found out about the affair. Right after she won, people were already saying things like, maybe it'd be okay if she was half Japanese, but someone with no Japanese blood as Miss Japan. This is kind of racist, I think. Am I wrong? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I know that might be like a hot take, but I, I feel like that's kind of racist. Like, she, she lived there her whole life. It wasn't her fault. She didn't treat, like, at five years old, she wasn't, like, she wasn't, like, a huge weeb. And she was like, Mom, I want to move to Japan because I love anime. Like, that didn't happen. Like, she was forced to live there, right? And she grew up there. She only speaks Japanese. She, I, don't, I don't get that, you know? Japan? 
okay, think that's so racist. So let's say they got their wishes, and there were new rules that say you had to be born in Japan and have Japanese blood to win. Also, a lot of people blame Western beauty standards for biasing the judges to select Carolina, stuff like big eyes, double eyelids, and lighter skin tones that are popular in Japan. So let's say, okay. let's say we want to select someone with darker skin this time. Even if they picked a Miss Japan who followed all these rules, the Japanese public still wouldn't be okay with it. And you know how I know that? Well, it happened. It happened back in 2015 uh -oh. when this lady, Miyamoto Eriana, won Miss Universe Japan. And do you think the public was okay with it? No, they had the exact same reaction they did for Carolina. She's not Japanese enough. You know, despite the fact that she was born and raised in Japan and Yikes. has a Japanese mom. This time they demanded some- America's the only, the only country who has these problems, guys. Someone with pure Japanese blood. Who do they think they are? Draco Malfoy? You filthy little mob blood. <laughs> Something funny is they tried to dig up dirt on her too. And the best thing that they could find is that she was smoking cigarettes in high school. Oh no. Miyamoto was smoking underage and Carolina's cheating. Foreigners have such bad character. It's like, bro, are you kidding? These are like your national pastimes. If anything, it makes them more Japanese. So anyways, I think everyone in the story sucks. The Wada company sucks the most for putting Carolina in a difficult position for their marketing. Dr. Chad sucks for cheating on his wife. The Japanese media sucks, specifically- Wait, putting- wait, 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 hold up. Putting her in a difficult situation for her mark- for marketing? I mean, she wanted the window, right? Like, she didn't have to join. I don't- I, I don't- I don't know so much about that one. It is- it- I, I guess the scummy thing would be like, I- we don't know if this is true. If they- they made her win on purpose. We don't know if that's true. That isn't- I don't think that's actually, like, clear. Um, clearly defined if that's actually like what happened. There's no, I, I didn't hear any proof of that. I mean, it's, it's likely, it's, it's likely it was possible, but like it, we don't know. She, in the, in the end, she did sign up for it, right? Specifically tabloids for holding women like Carolina, Maggie, and Becky to such high standards, while celebrities like Yamapi can get caught going to hotels with underage women and get off scot-free. Actually, in that case. Actually, I don't think so I don't think, hold on, is 17 underage in Japan? I don't actually, I actually don't think that is. This is like another thing too, is like we, we do this a lot in, in like the West. We're like, oh yeah, like that's under 18. That's wrong. That's, that's very, very wrong. But it's not, it's not under 18 in every country. The underage girl ended up apologizing to Yamapi for negatively impacting his career. Some people speculate that the reason the standards are so different is because the main consumers of this media are women, specifically housewives. When a hot rock star- That's kind of what I mean by like, sometimes we look at things in the lens of, um, we, we look at things clearly, I mean, very obviously under the lens of our own culture all the time. So it's, it's, that's why I'm trying to like understand it. Like, like it's, the, it's the same thing with me trying to understand like, like the whole divorce thing. Cause, cause the thing that puts the red flag to me is that he introduced her to his parents. Like, why would he do that? Why, why would he do that if it was just, uh, it was just like cheating, you know? Star There's clearly more behind woman. it. They feel jealous of the woman, but feel like they might have a chance. Unless his like whole family is just degenerate. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. With the man, if he's willing to cheat. At least that's what my friends told me when I asked them why this happens. Honestly, Carolina sucks too. Yeah, she didn't cheat herself, but she was the affair partner of a married person. True. And she had to know that if she won, her secret was eventually going to get out. Yeah, that's Oh yeah, remember this dumb. from the intro? A lot of people believe this, but it's a lie. Dr. Chad likes to enter muscle competitions. He actually won Best Body Japan. <laughs> and in 2018. And he is a judge, but not for the WADA contest, for a different <laughs> contest called Best of Miss... <laughs> Shit is so anime, dude. Look yeah, at this in guy. And he is a judge, but dude, you, dude, if he had like the JoJo music like playing, <laughs> center muscle competitions. He actually won Best Body Japan in 2018. And he is a judge, but not for the Wada contest, for a different contest called Best of Miss Tokyo. Also, when people heard Carolina's affair partner was a celebrity plastic surgeon, a lot of people thought that it was this guy, Takasu Mikia, a plastic surgeon YouTuber, and he got a ton of hate online. Actually, he's oh, the one who originally turned me on to the idea that the judges might be corrupt. So I started looking into the water contest and he was 100% right. ただ
There's one unanswered question that I need your help with. Mm. Carolina has always maintained that the only language she speaks is Japanese. She was even asked about this on TV. She said she does not speak Russian or Ukrainian. Uh -oh. But then how do you explain this? My mom is Ukrainian, my mom is Ukrainian. I mean, why not just say you speak? Who cares? Who cares? Just say that you speak, uh, I don't know, Russian or whatever, or Ukrainian. I don't, I don't know what language they speak. Just tell everyone. Who cares? Is she a native speaker or is her Ukrainian really bad? I mean, I have no clue. Please, someone let me know in the comments. By the way, I've made a part two of this video that's actually... Wait, how is Ukrainian different? Like, I, I, I guess, is it super different? pretty funny it goes into more detail about carolina's family dr chad the history of the wada family and then it gives some up i know dude if only this happened like like two years later she could have totally said it was a deep fake right she's all oh, about deep fake dude deep fake and scammer girl stories it's completely free to watch links in the description god i Th love this channel it's like a watching. channel thanks to my patrons including tier threes ethan campbell jason that artist manji sun 13 ncr trooper scout Wu, and hana dang so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll link it. But yeah, I mean it it, it really it really depends. Uh, in in terms of like, we don't know enough. We don't know enough to really like actually say for certain if it was because she's a woman specifically. And we also don't don't know enough about the the actual pageant.